Welcome back. We're gonna take a look at how we can continue working with storyboards and UI view controllers. So we can actually make the app do something and how we can actually use that to make that happen. So we already made it so we have this uh, quick little image in here. If we go back and we take a look at our assets, we have those different images in there that we can actually use. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it so we can actually choose between which different picture we're gonna cycle through as we grab that. And we're gonna use this to practice using a couple different things in Swift to make that happen. So we'll make a couple different functions we can use to talk about the data inside that and make that work. So let's go ahead and we're gonna first go over into our storyboard and we want to make sure we have that storyboard linked to our actual file itself so the way we do that is we first click on the view controller right here so it's highlighted we go to the identity inspector it's that com alt command 4 is the window and that tells us which class this is linked to and so we want to make sure that this UI view controller itself is linked to a specific class and right now we've got our class right here is UI is co just called view controller so we're going to give this a better name so I'm going to control click on here I'm going to go to refactor and rename and I'm going to give this the better name of Cactus View Controller. Because this is our Cactus app, so let's go ahead and make it fun. So we do command click on that. I'm going to add this up here in the rename right here to include that. And hit enter and save. Now it's called Cactus View Controller. Great name for that. So I'm going to go back, excuse me, over to my storyboard. And my storyboard, I'm going to go over here, click on the uh, View Controller scene. And it says it's linked to the Cactus View Controller by default. So it automatically made that change for us. So we know we now have it linked to the right file. So we have it linked to the file. So now we know which file we're talking to. Now, in order to make things happen and be able to reference the uh, storyboard itself via code, we have to make a, those relationships be available to us. And so we're going to go ahead and write some code to make that happen. So first things first, though, we're going to make an array over here in our View Controller. So we're going to go to Cactus View Controller and make a little variable for this. So I'm just going to make a private var named titles. That's the name of our uh, lovely string. It's going to be a type of string array or string list. So it's string inside square brackets. And I'm going to assign it in a set of values. So I'm going to set up square brackets right here. And I'm just going to give it some space right there so I have that. And inside here, I'm just going to go ahead and line these up, these values. So quotes right here and then a comma. And I'm going to do orange stripe. And then quotes comma again for the next one. And I have purple. Helps if I type right. And then the next one is going to be orange zig. And a comma again. And then another set of quotes and a comma. And this one's going to be pink. Another quotes and a comma. And this one's going to be multi. And actually, that's the last one, so no comma there. So I'll get up rid of that extra line. So I have string. Um, I have a list named titles. It's an array of string, and it has orange stripe, purple, orange zig, and pink, which are the names of the files we have over here inside assets. And so that way, I can reference them via name because that's how we access our you know, components in there is with the name of the picture. So I've got the name form right there. I'm going to go back over here to my Cactus View Controller. So I've got that, and I hit save again. And so I've got that right there. And I'm going to make it so I can randomly get an image out of this. And so I'm making a little function right here. And so it'll be just a little private func that belongs to this class. So private func. And we're going to choose image title as the name. And it's going to have no parameters. And it's going to return a string. And I'm going to say let random index equal. And then we're going to do an int of arc for random, because that's how you get a random number in Swift. And I want to have that moduloed by, so the percent sign modulo to get the remainder, and then titles.count. And then I'm going to say return, and then titles, and then subscript notation of random index. So I have a random string that I'm going to retrieve out of that value. So I'm going to get some random picture for that. I'm going to use that so I can link that to it. So I have a method right now that I can use. And I'm going to use that so I can link that to my code. So we made, a quick little, uh, <clears throat> we made a quick little array of string and assigned values to it. We have our private func choose image title, which is going to grab a random value of that. Now we're going to make it so that when I click on the button, it's going to pick a random one out of that and use that to set the information for that as our screen. But in order to do that, I have to go ahead and make a reference to it in my game. I have to make a reference it here inside the file. To do that, I have to first go to my storyboard. So first thing I do is open the storyboard. And again, we already checked to make sure that this view controller right here is linked to the correct class. So if I click on this right here and I look at the class it's linked to, you can see it's the Cactus View Controller. Good, we're in the right spot. Then I need to go up here to my editor window and I need to go down to my assistant editor. That's how I can link those the code and GUI together. And I do that, I've got right here. So I'm going to close this side window out so I have more space for this. 
And I'm going to link the label and the button and the image. I'm going to link all those here as variables I can reference inside my code. And to do that, I right click and drag or control click and drag from the storyboard to the code file. So let's go ahead and just go some space right here. So I have my, um, after my existing variable, I'm going to get my variables for all those right here in the same spot. So I'm going to right click on label. I'm going to right click and drag over here. And as you can see, it brings up that little insert outlet or outlet collection. So I'm going to click on that and release. I'm going to make an outlet. And what's its name? And we can call this um, title or label. Eh. Um, we'll call this the title label so we know exactly what it is. And it's a UI label and it's a week and I choose connect. And that automatically connects that to it. You can see I have this little filled in circle right here. It gives it the special prefix of at ID outlet which means it's linked to an interface builder component, aka this label, which is a title label, and it means it's a UA label optional because it may not be available in code, so that's why the exclamation point's there at the end. I'm gonna do that same thing here for this, and so I'm gonna do control click and drag this time, so it's the other way to do it, and it does the same thing. I've got an outlet, its name right here, and I'm gonna call this image of cactus, so cactus image. And it's a UI image view, and it's also going to be weak by default. Hit next on that. It's connected right there. And again, I have I hover over that. I can see which one it's connected to. Those are all there. Same thing with the button. I'm going to make a button on this. I'm going to do the control click and drag from there over here to this. Now, because it's a button, you'll notice it has insert action outlet or outlet collection. So I have more options, but I still want an outlet for this. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this the cactus button. Because again, it's what we're working with on this project. It makes it really easy to identify what I'm talking to every time. So now I have variable references that I can use to talk to the entire project itself. I did that by right clicking and dragging or control clicking and dragging from the storyboard to the associated file. And I checked to make sure that's happened by using the assistant editor. I can see that it's linked to the right file here with that automatic on that, so I have that ready to go. So now I've got those variables referenced from that, and now I'm going to go ahead and make it so I can link the button's action so it's going to use that choose image title method that I just had to assign that value to the appropriate image itself. So the next step we need to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a function for this. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click and drag from the button. I'm going to go down here below view to load. And this time it's going to be an action connection because I've already got my outlet up here. And its object is the cactus view controller, its name. And it's going to be, um, it's, it's clicking a button. So we're going to do button click. So cactus click. The name itself matches what it is. What kind of type is it? Instead of any, I like to always use the UI button because it's more effective as describing what I'm talking about. And the event that I'm, I'm firing on is touch up inside and I choose sender. And I'm gonna hit connect on that. Okay, and so I'm gonna fix my squigs on this. Now, this right now is compilable code. It's great and lovely. Because this is a void method, it doesn't have to have the return type void specified after it, but I always like to have my return type specified on my methods. I like the way it looks. It helps me remember what I'm doing. So I always add the add void to that for the return type on there. And so this also has that same little circle identifying to it, which means it's connected over here. You can see that highlights on the other side on the assistant editor. So I'm like, oh, I have that linked together so I know that's what it belongs to. Great way to keep that working in mind. And so now I have this button will get fired. <clears throat> This method will get called whenever that button gets clicked inside the app. So I'm going to make it so that when this button clicks, that it's going to change the image of this to reflect some random title of that. And so we're going to go ahead and add some code to make that happen. So inside here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, get that value. And so we'll get a let to get that string so we can retrieve that value. So let title equal, and then we do choose image title. I'm going to call my method. And it's return a string for that, so I have that as a title. And then when that title is selected, I'm going to go ahead and go in here. I'm going to do cactus image. And then dot image, so I can reference the image inside it. I'm going to assign a UI image, because that's what the type that we're looking at. And then named, and then we're going to use title. And again, I have that value right there, so I can grab the click of that. So when I click the button, it's going to change the title um, right here. I'm going to grab a title for this. I'm going to put, use that, and I'm going to use it to set the picture of that to be a new picture for that. And we'll also update the label text from that. Since I have that up here as a variable, as title label, I can also access that. And so FL will do the same thing. And we'll have that, so it's going to say um, title label. dot text equals and then quotes and showing colon and then backslash parens so we can use some interpolation title 
and we're going to have the title showing as to what's going to show up on that when I click it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save to make sure it saves. Do command B because it's always good to build to make sure something works properly. My build is successful, fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and do command R to run my tech, uh, app. My build is successful, it runs, now I've got my button. I'm going to click my button and now my button when it clicks, it shows the different things, but oh no, my text isn't showing. It has this sh dot, 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 because they don't have enough to have that show. So I have to make it so I can make sure that itself is wide enough to make that work. So let's go ahead and we'll fix that right here, but this is cute. I can click between my cute little buttons. Oh, lovely stuff. So let's go back over here. So I want to make this little fit right here. So right now label fits just fine, but I want to make sure that it's going to fit inside the actual thing. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a couple things. I'm going to close my assistant editor because I don't need to worry about that right now. I'm just looking at the storyboard. I'm going to open up my um, properties for this. I'm going to click on my um, properties for my label itself. Go to the attributes inspector, which is that command alt command five section right here. And so I have my alignment right here. It's got my font and my information for this. I want to make sure this is going to fit. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to control drag from here to the left edge. And I want to have this set to center horizontally in my safe area. Boom. So it should center horizontally on that. And I'm also going to do a control drag from this up to the top. And I want to have my top space to safe area right here. So I make sure I have it set so it's going to be um, away from that. And when I do this, you look at that I have some constraints right here. My title label center of the X is set to be zero on that. So the center of the X is supposed to be center on that. And the top of it should be right here, 165. Let's make that 175 just to make it a little nicer of a number and save that right there. I'm going to rerun this code. All right, we've got our new version of it here running. I've got those, set, um, those updated right here. I'm going to click on my button. And oh, look at that, showing orange stripes, showing orange zig. And it matches what I'm clicking on. And so every time I click, it gets a new name right here. This is amazing. So every time I click, I get a new random value. Because it's random, I could theoretically repeat like I've done a couple times already, which is great, but that's okay. So now we've got how we can actually load this in. So again, to make that happen, we made our storyboard. We made sure it linked to the actual file. So I clicked on the storyboard right here. I looked on the actual view controller. So I click right here. I can see on its identity inspector, it has the correct file listed. I was able then to go over to my cactus view controller. I had my array of string for the titles that I'm working with. I have my references for my outlets that I'm using. So at IB outlet says it's an IB outlet reference. The at IB action says it's a storyboard action right there for those prefixes on that. I wrote the code to make sure that it'll choose the title from that call. And that's how we can make that happen. So now we've made it so our app can do one more thing. We have the ability to add buttons and images as well as have functionality for that. I hope this is helpful for you and help you have a great time understanding and practicing for the Swift certification. Cheers. We'll see you next time and have a good day. Bye-bye.